Design is one of the few places you can create a multi-character AI lip sync video. And now you can lip sync up to four characters in a scene. Guys, why do we all look so serious? I don't know, and why are we all wearing black? Actually, my jacket's gray. Well, thanks for pointing that out. Design, who's sponsoring this video, has also made it easy to have multiple lines of speech for each character so they can interact and have a conversation. You can't just keep taking my spot every morning. It's not your spot, it's the street. Yeah, well, the street knows it's my spot. Oh yeah? Then why does the street keep waving me in, just like your wife? That scene was about to get ugly. I've got more results to share, but first let's create one together. To create an AI lip sync video in design, we'll start with a new project. Everything in design is organized in projects. You can give your project a name and then select the aspect ratio for your canvas. We'll go 16 by nine and click apply. Now you've got a big canvas here in the center. Over on the right will be the results of anything that you generate. And then you've got a layers tab. If we have multiple things on the canvas stacked up, you'd be able to see each layer. Over on the left are all the generation tools if you don't have an image yet for your lip sync, you can create one using text to image just by selecting a model. They have lots of models to pick from and then type in a prompt to describe your image. If you already have your starting image or video, we'll just close out of here. You can drag that in and drop it on the canvas. Now on the left menu about midway down, click lip sync. There's two modes for lip sync, either normal or pro. We want pro. Over in the middle is where we give it a starting visual. We can either use an image or a video. I'm gonna use an image, so I'll click pick a face image. Since I already put my starting image on the canvas when we created this project, I can select it right here. But if I wanted to use something different, I could drag and drop it right here in this panel. We'll go ahead and select this image. Now it's auto identified the faces in this image. I just need to click select to confirm. If it hadn't found the faces, I could mark face manually with this button and help it find the faces. We'll click next. That brings us to this timeline. We've got our visual here on the top track, and then we have an audio track for each speaker. To give these folks something to say, we'll start with this guy who's on the top track will click pick a voice. You can create the audio here in design with text to speech. Just type out the script that you want the character to say, pick the voice that you want to say it and set the speed and then generate the audio. You can preview these voices. Hey, what's up guys? This is Finn. I can't wait to work with you in your upcoming projects. And there's quite a few more to pick from. We're not gonna go through all of those. Since I already have my audio created, I'm gonna click the upload audio tab. Then I'll just drag and drop my first audio file. It places it right there on the audio track for speaker A. Then I'm gonna move down to speaker B, click pick a voice, click the upload audio tab, drag and drop her first line. And then down on the timeline, I wanna click that and drag it out so that she starts talking right after his first line. Now, a major update here is that we can add additional lines for each one of our speakers. So on my speaker A track, that's the guy on the left, I'll come out here to right after speaker B stops that line and I'll click this add button, switch over to upload audio, drag and drop his next line. It puts that audio right where we wanted it, which is right after she finishes this line. Now right after his second line, we wanna add a second line for her. So we'll just come down here and click on that track, switch to the upload audio tab, drag in her next line. You can play through the audio to preview how it lines up. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mark. And I'm Lisa. Today we're talking about AI lip sync. Oh, is that the thing where you can basically make a picture talk? Yeah, and now you can have multiple characters talking so you can create a dialogue. That sounds good to me. If you need to adjust the spacing, you can click on any one of these audio clips and drag it left or right if you want to tighten them all up or add some gaps through there. It looks like our lip sync here is gonna be about 14 seconds total. The max you can do here is 30 seconds. And also if you need to trim up any of your audio clips, you can just come to the edge, click and drag to make the trim. And if you need to delete an audio clip, just hover over it and the little trash can icon will appear. I think we've got everything where we want it. So I'm gonna come up here and click generate. Now over in the right panel under the results tab, it shows us that it's working and it says it's waiting for 10 to 20 minutes. It'll give you an estimate up here of how long it's gonna to take to process. And the more characters and the longer the length of the total lip sync video, the longer it'll take. While that's running, you can go do other things either here in this project or in any other project. Design has a lot of tools for creating and editing AI images and video. Our lip sync video is ready, let's take a look. Hello. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mark. And I'm Lisa. Today we're talking about AI lip sync. Oh, is that the thing where you can basically make a picture talk? 
Yeah, and now you can have multiple characters talking so you can create a dialogue. If you're happy with it, go ahead and download it. It's currently 720p, but we can upscale that with this video upscale. You can take it up to 1080p, 4K, or 8K. If you want to try this lip sync generation again with all the same settings, just click this rerun button up here at the top. If you see changes you want to make to your image, just click on it here on the canvas. Then below that, click the chat editor button. Then describe your change, select the editing model, and click generate. Our new image shows up in this right panel under the results tab. The buttons below the image are tools for editing this image or making it into a regular video. To use this new image as the starting image for a lip sync video, click the lip sync button and that brings us back into the lip sync workflow where we can select the faces and add the audio. There's a link to design in the description of this video so you can head over there and check it out. I promise to show you more results. Here they are starting with this multi-character AI lip sync video in a news panel style. Our city recently elected a golden retriever as mayor. Some say it's great, others say it's chaos. John, how do you think it's going? Oh, I fully support Mayor Barkington. He's honest, loyal, and he has no plans to raise taxes. Have you seen the video of him knocking that lady over when he was chasing a squirrel in front of City Hall? You raise a valid concern, but some say that was an AI-generated video. Exactly. And even if it's real, I think the squirrel shares some culpability in that incident. Wait, are we really going to talk about the culpability of a squirrel? There might be a miss here or there with the lip formation not being exactly what we'd expect for the sound we're hearing, but Design does an incredible job with some of the details, like the characters blinking and breathing and the body language beyond just their mouth or head. I gotta confess. Last week when we were arguing, I hid your favorite hoodie in the back of the closet. I know. That's why I put vinegar in your coffee. And cleaned the toilet with your toothbrush. You didn't. Yeah, but only a little. So did you have something to do with my jeans not fitting? Yeah, those aren't even your jeans. I replaced them with a pair two sizes smaller. Check the tag. Oh, wow. I'm going to try real hard to never make you mad again. This one is really an experiment. My starting image has her holding the remote out and him with his arm behind his head, and I wanted to see how it would handle that during the conversation. It does seem to want to default back to whatever pose and expression is in the starting image, even though it can move some during the scene. If I was going to do this one again, I'd use the chat editor in design and change the pose of both characters, put both their arms down. But I really liked his nervous leg shaking there toward the end, and how it made the couch and the woman's leg shake too. We didn't steal that car. Yeah, we're really the victims in this deal. I mean, we woke up in the trunk of this car in the middle of nowhere. And what? We're just supposed to walk 20 miles in the middle of the night? They ought to be looking for whoever put us in that trunk in the first place. These poor guys are always getting caught up in stuff. But I am super impressed with the way design animates them. Their movements, they just look really authentic. It just nails it, especially that guy on the right. This might be our best shopping trip ever. Yeah, great deals and great coffee. And nobody fell on the escalator this time. Don't jinx it. We still have the stairs at the restaurant. This was another experiment, and I'm asking it to do a lot here. The background is really busy with cars and people and stuff it needs to animate. I've got three characters. My starting image has them all smiling, so that's the default neutral expression it wants to hang on to. The characters are moving, not standing still. Two of the characters are side profile views, and their faces are relatively small in this image. It did well with the background and animating the ladies. The lip movement could have been better, and it probably would be if I helped it out by eliminating at least some of those challenges that I mentioned. Before we get into the topic, my co-host has a question. How do we have both mics plugged into each other? That can't work. That's what you get sometimes with AI-generated photos. You mean the mic setup is just AI? Yeah, along with everything else, including you and me. It's all AI. So we're just going to pretend like that's normal and go on with the show? It's really cool to be able to build an AI lip sync conversation like this. I don't have any complaints with how this one turned out. I do notice a few times it wanted to put her facial expression back to the smile from the starting image. Again, if that's an issue, fix the expression in the image using the chat editor before putting together the lip sync. I can't believe you keep your hot sauce in the refrigerator. Why wouldn't I keep it in the fridge? It's just weird. It says to refrigerate right on the front of the bottle. You don't follow directions, and that's why you're always pregnant. That sounds like an issue between sisters, and I've been married long enough to know not to get involved in that debate. 
Anyway, this was another profile view, which some AI lip sync tools just can't handle. But design didn't seem to mind. The hand gestures and head bobbing seemed a little much, but there was some natural looking animation in there too, and I appreciate that it animated the older sister's reflection in the microwave. And the way their hands are in the starting image, it makes sense the way it animated them. For that one, I think I'd use the chat editor right here in design and have them doing something different with their hands. Maybe have one of them holding a cup of coffee or something. I think that would really change the vibe of the whole scene, probably in a good way. For AI lip sync and design, you need to be on the creator or master subscription. Creator is $19.99 a month or $16 a month if you pay annually. And that includes 3000 fast image generation credits, unlimited regular image generation, and lots of other tools like AI video generation, the chat editor with Nano Banana and C Dream, design's consistent character feature, and other goodies. Like I said, there's a link to design in the description if you want to head over there and check out their multi-character AI video lip sync or any of their other AI image and video tools. Hey, my name is Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and join me for another video.